Hi there, I'm Teaspoon, and this is Taspoon, the series where I pioneer my own path progressing an old school RuneScape Iron Man account. The goal? To complete the collection log. The catch? I have to do it one randomly generated task at a time. Welcome to Taspoon. In the last episode, we started off by getting a Rune Defender, well under the drop rate. We then proceeded to do so many tasks that I actually can't remember them all. We got some satchels from Creature Creation. At some point, we did the Desert Easy Diary. A Xerix Talisman. And lastly, we finished unlocking Bones to Peaches. After completing Bones to Peaches, we rolled our newest task, which was to get a Unique from Temporos. And don't forget, if you want to leave a comment with the location, message, and color for a tile marker in-game, I'll put that down too. I need to edit my last video, and Temporos is not AFK enough for me to edit while playing, so I'm just going to be fishing some swordfish here. Um, yeah, I know it's not really part of my task, but I need to do something AFK, and I do have a fishing task, sort of, so I figure it was the best thing to do. But, yeah, I'm just going to AFK some fish, edit the video, and then I'm going to go to Temporos. My kitten is now a cat. I can trade him for death runes. So I figured I'd show you what I mean here. Uh, if you use the pet cat on a civilian, they'll give you 100 death runes. And they say, well, actually, I don't know what they say. It's implied that they use them to hunt the rats that are around them, but... I'm pretty sure they eat them, and you can't convince me otherwise, so. Unfortunately, I only got 100 death runes. Uh, I forgot that you need to have completed the Artie Easy Diary for them to give you 200 death runes at a time. Uh, mostly because that's just one of the first things that I usually do on an account, because the Artie Easy Diary is amazing. Um, but, yeah, until I get as a task, I'm going to be getting 100 per cat. Kind of sad, but whatever. And then you just go back to Gertrude, and you she gives you another cat for 100 coins. So now I am growing 100 more death runes. Alright, I just finished editing the last video. It's now rendering, so I'm sorry if my recorder does any stutters, but my computer does not like rendering videos and recording at the same time, like it just did right there. So, I'm going to be doing uh, Temporos in the mass world, I think, for now. Mostly because if I lag and I die or lose because of it, I'm going to be mad. And I don't know Temporos that well. I kind of want to, you know, get, get some games under my belt, get back in the swing of things, and then maybe I'll move on to some solos afterwards. But for now, I'm just going to go to the mass world and do some Temporos while this video renders. And then, yeah, once you finish the game, you get some reward permits, which lets you know how many times you can fish from the reward pool, which is what I'm going to do right now. And this is where you get the items, which can be unique. And I believe that is it. And that's why I only need to do one game. Nice. So we can go on over here and complete the task. Up to 15% on the easy, which is pretty good. And generate a new one. Mole Claw plus... Skin. Okay. Claw and mole skin are 100% drop chance from the giant mole. So I just have to go and kill the giant mole a single time. Now, the difficult part is the giant mole is level 230 and has like 300 health, I want to say. Uh, 200 health, okay. And has some decent defenses. So I don't know how well I'll be able to hit on him at all. But we're gonna go find out. Okay, here we go. I have found the mole. Uh, now, fortunately, Giant Mole is a boss that cannot hit through Protect from Melee. So, I am invincible as long as I don't miss my Prayer Flicks. I just don't think that I'm gonna be able to hit him very well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, here is the cringe part of the Giant Mole. Once he's below 50% health, every time you hit him, he has a 50% chance or 33% chance to dig and 
uh, go somewhere at random on the map, which this place is pretty big. Uh, there's like set points that you can go to, but they're all over the place and there's no way of telling without the Falador shield. You just have to wait to find the yellow circle on the minimap. Uh, the problem is, it's not just when you deal damage, it's any time you hit him at all. And so all these zeros have a chance to make him burrow and... I don't know how much of the uh, first part of the kill I showed you, but I was not hitting a lot. So this is going to be a lot of running around and probably going to take a very long time. Yay. Hey, there we go. Killed the mole. My recorder's lagging again. There we go. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get any of the drops that I wanted. There was a couple things on there that actually would have been useful for me. But, yeah, that took forever. Uh, I mean, as you can see in the chat, 8 minutes, 28 seconds for a boss that people can kill in, like, 3 hits. So, <laughs> it wasn't great, but it's done. Other than being a bit annoying, that task was okay to complete. Which we'll do on the spreadsheet. 16%. Hell yes. Generate a new task. Going back to Temporos. I remembered how to play the game a bit better that time. Got five permits. Gonna go ahead and fish in the reward pool. Hopefully get... I never actually showed the Temporos collection log, but there is a lot of stuff that is very hard to get, like the pet or the dragon harpoon. Some stuff that's sort of in the middle, like the fish barrel, the tackle box. Some stuff that's guaranteed, but you have to get it over time, which is the spirit angler. You gotta go get the fishing, uh, the angler outfit first, and then you pay, I think it's spirit flakes, to turn into the spirit angler. And then there's a tome of water. Uh, I don't really know how rare that is, to be honest. The soak pages are probably what's gonna come up next, if I had to guess. Uh, one of these three, either the tackle box, fish barrel, or soak pages. So, let's get one. Nope. 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 And so Paige! Hey, we did it! Hey. I realize now that I didn't actually record any of the gameplay of the boss, so it was just me getting the task and then completing the task, but hey, we're done! Between the last episode and the start of this one, we are cruising through these tasks. Gonna complete that one. And generate a new one. One new ha- Aw, oh, man. So this is a, another Castle Wars task that I'm just gonna have to go on my other account, and I'll just be AFKing for hours, so... Eh, uh, yeah. So again, the strategy here is uh, join Castle Wars in a world that has, like, nobody on it. 1v1 myself on another account. Let my account on this or let my character on this account capture the flag once so that I win, and then AFK for like 15-ish minutes while the game ends, get the three tickets, and repeat until I have enough tickets to buy whatever the task is. Pretty boring. Almost definitely not going to show, like, anything because uh, I'm not that mean. I won't do that to you. Uh, I didn't actually look at how many tickets the Halo is so I will check that in a sec to figure out how long this is going to take, but it's pretty boring. It's, yeah, definitely one of my least favorite tasks so far, only because there's nothing to do. You just wait. So I am immeasurably upset. Uh, if you read here, the Halos cost 75 Castle Wars tickets. And, uh... <laughs> I can get about 9 an hour, so if we uh, do the old 75 divided by 9, I'm going to be AFKing in Castle Wars for 8.5 hours-ish. Added some time in between for the games. I'm sad. Well, here I am just AFKing my little heart out in Castle Wars, and I see that there's a system update in four and a half minutes. 
And I have five minutes left in my game. I am very sad. Alright, about to get kicked off. I guess I won't actually know until the servers come back up, but... I doubt I'm gonna get those tickets, and I'm sad about it. And this is the moment of truth. Very sad. Nice. One more game to go. Alright, we should be almost done this game here. Shout out to my boy, uh, Teaspoon, for helping me out. Uh, th thanks. Yeah, um... I, I didn't know where I was going with that joke. Alright, 75 tickets. We did it. Uh, how do I... What? How do I, how do I buy... How do I buy a Halo? Alright, here we go. Zamorak Halo. Uh, no real reason I'm buying this one other than it'll match my cape, which I decided to keep and not sell back for extra tickets, so... There we go. Finally, we can leave this place. Let me just, uh... You know, if it wasn't for the green robes, it actually does look kind of cool. So, and I've never had one before. This is a first for me. And we're back on the spreadsheet. Get rid of that god-awful task. 17%. Pog champ. Get a new task. Brine Saber. Oh, interesting. Okay. Sure. Yeah. So, this is a Brine Saber. It doesn't really have any use to me, unfortunately. It is similar to a Rune Scimitar, but I already have a Dragon one, so... Yeah. No, uh, not super useful to actually get it. Uh, but what you do need is to be able to kill Brine Rats, which are, as it says here, access a small cave during Olaf's quest. Olaf's quest is uh, great for me. I can do Fremnic Trials, which will let me get a helmet with a strength bonus on it. And I'll need three woodcutting levels, so that's not bad. And Brine Rats themselves require 47 Slayer which will be good for me to go train some Slayer. So, ultimately, I think this task is very good for me. So, here we are playing the video game again for once. Uh, my current Slayer task is Cock Traces, so I'm going to finish that. And, yeah, it just, it feels good to actually be able to play the game again, you know? I believe, yep, yeah, there we go. Task complete. Uh, yeah, gonna go get a new task. So, for my new task, I have decided that I'm going to take a Konar task. This might be a mistake, but... Eh, you know. Trolls in Keldegrim. That's not bad. I can do that. Alright, I've made it to the Trolls in Keldegrim. Gonna do my whole task here. Gonna perfect the whole thing. Uh, trolls are notorious for being able to just slam through armor. So, didn't really feel comfortable. I'd, I'd be using a lot of food or bones, peaches, using a lot of natures. I don't know. Figured that prayer flicking isn't too bad. I'll just prayer flick the whole task. So, here we go. Make use, in for, make use out of my halo, though. You know, give me that extra prayer bonus if I miss flicks or anything. Hey, there we go. Troll task is done. Now, I have a little bit of change of plans, which I will go over in a sec. Let me go and bank first. So, my plan is, uh, the Konar plan is sort of good, but I want to get a bunch of Slayer points. I think unlocking superiors early would be really fun. So, my plan is, I'm going to go to... I'll do that in a sec. I'm, I'm going to go to Turiel to get tasks until I'm about to get... Uh, every five tasks, I'm gonna go back to Konar. And this is something that people do to boost Slayer points in general. Um, I'm just gonna take advantage of it here. So, I'll still be getting some Slayer XP on the Turial task. It'll just be short, quick, fast, not a lot of XP. And then I'll do Konar every five for a nice big bonus in Slayer points and some extra XP. Uh, that's, well, wh what I just explained was one reason. But the other reason is, I have no way to get to Konar quickly. Konar is all the way up here. And my closest teleport is here, which this walk takes like, I don't know, like six minutes or like five minutes. Zay is huge. So I'm going to use my games necklaces slash uh, minigame teleport to go to Turiel five times. And then I'm going to make the walk over to Konar, 
get the fifth task, do the bo bonus point task there, rinse repeat until I'm 47 Slayer, which, little update, I am at, where's Slayer? 35. So, yeah, that's the plan. Just to be clear, in the last clip I made a bit of an oopsie, or maybe it was two clips ago, uh, I think I said every five task, but the Slayer point boost is actually every 10 task. And you can see here that Turiel never gives any points because their tasks are so quick, you just blast through them. But if you go to Konar, on the 10th task, you get a bonus of 90, whereas her regular tasks are 18. Go away. 18. No, go. go okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, so plan is every 10 tasks, I'll go to Konar. The 9 in between, I'll do a Turiel. The 9 in between will be quick, and the 10th one will be where I actually get some decent XP. And hopefully get some brimstone keys, because that's sort of the reason I'm doing this. Otherwise I would just do, like, I don't know, Chaildar or something. Meave, I don't know. Also, I know you couldn't see because I had the other thing up, but I was doing my task while I was explaining that, and I literally finished the task, like, in that explanation. So, yeah, this will be nice and quick. Did anyone else, when they were a kid, get confused by the word bear? Because, like, you say it bear, but, like, you would also say bear is also bear. But then, like, ear, you would say ear. So shouldn't bear be beer? Anyway, done that task. Well, I was sitting here, distracted by how stupid I was in the last clip doing my Minotaur's task in the Stronghold of Security when I realized that this was my 20th task and I was supposed to go to Konar. I thought this was 19, so now I'm sad and there's nothing I can do about it. So even though I am a sad, stupid, dumb idiot, I'm still going to continue with the plan. I mean, just because I fucked it up that time doesn't mean it's a bad plan, just means I'm stupid. Just a reminder that you can still leave a comment if you want me to leave a tile marker down. Just leave it where you want it, what you want it to say, and what color you want it, and I'll put it down whenever I get a chance. And I figured that I've deserved making my own uh, label tile, so I will call this place Cringe Crawlers. Thank you. Well, I'm done with that task, and I think you can tell how I feel about it. Oh, I got a uh, right skull half on my minotaur task. I think that might actually be a task now that I'm thinking about it, but whatever, cool. All right, I actually remembered to go to Karnar this time for my 30th task. Greater demons in the chasm of fire, great. That is going to be a lot of prayer flicking. Nice. Hey, I got a brimstone key on my third to last kill. That's pretty cool. There we go. 90 points. Hell yeah. One key. Let's go open it. I've made it back up to the top of the mountain to the brimstone chest. I'm gonna go ahead and open it now. That is one of the worst things I could have gotten. Okay, that's just that. that okay. Yeah, I just looked up all the things that I could get, and that is one of the worst things. I, I think there there's only a select few things that I would like less than that, but I guess there are still those things, so whatever. More coal. Alright, I've done ten more Turial ta- well, I guess nine more Turial tasks. Gonna get the tenth one from Konar again. Hopefully not something that I have to prayer flick for two and a half hours. Oh, that's not great. The good part about the Hellhound task is there's actually a pretty good chance they'll get at least one Brimstone Key, which is kind of what I'm doing this for, I mean, as well as the Slayer points, but, uh, yeah, it just means I'm gonna have to Prayer Flick for, like, another three hours, so... I might be the first person to ever do this puzzle to get into that room that wasn't doing the quest that's there. I think it's Family Crest quest? I might be the first person to ever do this just trying to get in to kill the Hellhounds. What the... Hey, first brimstone key of the task. Still have like 105 left, so I am likely going to get another one. Cool. And that's another brimstone key. We're looking good. If I can get a third, I'm very happy. Hey, another key. 
I don't know if I mentioned this before, but from Hellhounds on a Konar task, the Brimstone Keys are about a 1 in 95. So, uh, I think I started with 141. So, when I had two keys, I was thinking, oh, okay, that's good. I'm, I'm on the, the luckier side of average, but three keys is very lucky. I'm very happy with that. Gonna do two more kills and then go and open them. And with this Hellhound killed, we're done the task. Got up to 46 Slayer, pretty close. Uh, gonna go do a few more Turial tasks. I might actually get them during the Turial tasks now that I'm looking at it. Uh, and gonna go and, what was I doing? Opening the chest, that's what I was doing. Here we are back at Konar. I get to do a couple of fun things here. First things first, I get to unlock bigger and badder, superior Slayer monsters. That's fun. And I get to open the chest three times. So what we're looking for here is probably like the rune armor would be the biggest thing. But I mean, anything other than seeds or coal, you know, let's just do it. Let's just do, there we go. Hey, rune plate legs. Perfect. That's one of the pieces I wanted. Go again. Rune full helm. Okay, things are turning good. If I get a rune plate body here, more rune full helms. Okay, I have seven rune full helms. Um, <laughs> well, I can't complain. The game listened. Now, the best part about that is I get to alk all these rune full helms that alk for like 20k each, and I'm not going to be poor for once. I feel like I'm always poor in this account, but this would be the first time. I'm just going to have like 100k, over 100k. Look at me go. I'm going to have like 150k just sitting in the bank, and it's going to feel great. So, I've just been doing some, some tutorial tasks, I'm down here in the catacombs, killing some skeletons, and I learned about a button that I didn't know existed. I assume this is rune light and not base runescape, but this wiki button, you can literally just click on it and then click on anything, and it opens up a page in your other, in your browser, of the thing that you clicked on, on the wiki. That's so useful! Why didn't, why didn't I know about that? And the reason I wanted to do that was because I was curious what the drop rate was for the uh, catacomb stuff for these skeletons, which is very bad. But I was just curious, and I learned something new today. Yay, 47 Slayer. That's the requirement for the Brine Rats, so now I need to get the requirements for the quest, which I think is just three more woodcutting levels, if I'm not mistaken, so... Gonna kill these last three dogs just to finish the task, but yeah, we're done Slayer. Oh, would you look at that? I got 50 wood cutting. I've been editing th this video that you're watching right now, um, and probably gonna continue doing that for a bit, but yeah, I think that's the last skill requirement that we need for the task. I will still need to go and do Fremenic Trials, which will be fun, but yeah, we're done that. Oh my goodness, I have killed uh, 59 of these guys to get a 1 in 17 drop for this liar. Jesus, get me out of here. Alright, and I'm gonna start from Nick Trials. Alright, that should be the end of Fremenic Trials. Bunch of XP and a bunch of skills. You can use the helmets, so that's nice. And I believe that is everything I need for Olaf's quest. Yeah. Apparently my mic was muted in the last clip, but we're doing Olaf's quest. Yay. back and uh, got some potions, restocked, got my armor, got my weapon, got my everything. Forgot to trade in my cat, but I'll do that after I do this. So yeah, just gonna start killing the brine rats for that 1 in 512 drop, and yeah, the grind starts here.
I got a quiz master, so I got a mystery box, which I'm gonna open and get one of the baguette things. Okay, I got some nature runes. All right, I think I will call it a night. I'm at, let's see, 200 Brian Rat kills. Probably took about hour and 45 minutes, maybe two hours. So this might be a while, but it's fine. It's pretty peaceful. I'm, you know, I'm not prayer flicking. I'm just using bone to peaches and healing back up. So yeah, we'll do this tomorrow. Okay, it is the next morning, and I'm ready to kill some rats. I missed it, but... Nice. Hey, I got it! Mm, nice. Let's check how many kills. Right after I kill this thing. Uh, here we go. 255! Almost exactly half the drop rate. Nice. And here we are, back in the spreadsheet. Complete that task. 18%. Generate a new one. Get Revenant Ether. Interesting. Okay.